All right. So we just talked to Miss HP, and instead of writing up what we're going to be doing for the action research project, we're now making a short documentary on the whole process. So, hello class. You're either going to see us succeed spectacularly or fail miserably. Either way, it's going to be all captured on digital video for your enjoyment. Cut. Bye. <laughs>
So don't get fucked up at me for not following the rule. Secondly, I didn't change anything on that ad document. You can see I would highlight something and add in the it was on the that sidebar. Was great. I like that's that. called not fucking changing it because you shit yourself when I deleted your 3.0 lines. Yeah, yeah. And I added to it. That's not change. Right. I mean that's not change. That's not changing anything you did. You didn't want that. They deleted what I added. And nothing was good as new. Thirdly, the third document away was definitely not for yourself. It was because you invited the entire fucking group and you were using it as a document you added things to. That's not called a document that you can just see what you want. That's called the fucking paper. No. I made the document myself. I was working next to Everett. I invited Everett. Two and days later, better. I talked to Theo on Skype. He wanted to work. I said, I just wrote a little bit more. Here, check it out. Send him the new document. Yanni, I talked to him in Skype the next day. Whatever. I haven't talked to you in Skype. I haven't invited you because I've well, worked with you recently. If you want to work... This is all true. I actually, I approached him about the note. Like, I approached him like... And I invited yeah. him later gotcha. because I invited people by the amount of people, time that I was working on. I will go back and work on the other document that you wrote notes on if you want me to. So, no, no essentially, you. what you just said is that the document that everyone was working on that you made the final paper. You really you just confirmed what you said even though you denied it. No, it's... That's true. Well, yeah. It's the final paper. I'm I think I'm not going to deny it. the truth. And I'm not, I just don't think that, I really don't think that it should be a conflict between us because it wasn't like an exclusion, it was just my... What do you mean it wasn't an exclusion? You can be invited to it if you... If you yeah, because I am confronting you about this question, be like, oh, I'll invite you. Okay. Because when we're talking to say, hey, you're going to have to say you're going to invite me. Well, the thing is, it's just like... How the fact that Johnny was even hesitant about telling me about it? Oh, okay. And how the fact that you... That last time I talked to you guys, you're changing your story. You guys are changing your story and making you guys seem in a positive light. The first time I talked to you guys about it, you said you didn't invite me to it on purpose. And now you think it's because I didn't talk to you about it, and now yeah, I'm the guy no, to involve in this? No, no, no. That's not... No, that is not I, one, I think we should take some space right now, because like all of us, I think you're upset about it, which is fine, which you're allowed to be upset about it right now. But I think if we all are able to like go into class and just have our own space for a little bit of time and we come back and it's not so heated we can talk about it without having like this kind of personal connection to it. Because I think to me, for me it was not personal at all. It was not me excluding Alex Bronson out of this thing. It was just us trying to get this project done in a way that like made sense. Like it wasn't, it just wasn't personal. So I, I just think we should go like, take some time in class to just kind of sit down and, like, just relax for a second. It's, and, yeah. Wait, it's I, I want to hear what Theo has to say. Okay. Very first thing, it was wrong of us not to invite you to the document. I thought that we made the document because we didn't like the change that you made, and that it was wrong of us to make a new document. We should have just came and, like, talked to you about it and told you these this is what we don't like, this is what we do like. Bro, I don't even understand what these fucking changes are. No, no, no. Look. I didn't do anything. I didn't change anyone's work. No, wait, wait, wait. Can, I, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I just finish first? Yeah. This, just some of the sentences that you added to the second document. Then delete them! Oh, Jesus! Yeah, that's exactly what we did. We went back to the original. And then you added a bunch of other stuff. You're right, that's exactly what you did. And you made up. Okay, can I please just finish? Okay. I think the reason why we made a new document, this is what I think, it may not be the reason why they made it, but I thought we made it. So, something happened today, it was a pretty dramatic event uh, within our group. So, start at the beginning. On our very first action research document, which was a Google Doc, which we were all invited to, we were all collaborating to write the problem justification. And for one of the paragraphs, Noah wrote a line, or a few a few lines, like about a paragraph, about how the average GPA in the country is 3.0, and how that is like much lower than what it should be. And Alex, I guess, didn't agree with that line, or thought that it was uh, counterintuitive to what our paper was arguing for, and so he decided to um, delete it without telling us, or like talking to Noah. Yeah, I mean, that didn't really piss me off or anything too much. I didn't want him to do that, so I, I let him know, and that was all fine. He was very understanding about it, and I made a new document. I ended up inviting other people, uh, I mean, the rest of the group members, 
maybe not the smartest thing to do, but I didn't invite Alex until a little bit later. And then, you know, he was on board with that one and it seemed everything was going fine. I didn't realize until today when we got in the fight that it wasn't really fine even back then because... Well, first we have the sec- there was a second document. Yeah, we... Well, okay, so I know at that point Alex was still feeling a little disconnected from us, but then something worse happened, which is all my fault, personally, I believe, and I, I feel very bad about it. It was... He changed a little bit more in the second document, and I wasn't against that. He added comments. It was great. We were working well together, but I didn't want to change his changes. I didn't want to erase his comments or anything. I just wanted my old document back for my own sake because I I wanted to just write in it. And I ended up inviting everyone to it, you know, throughout the week and except for him until Friday when he found out that everyone was in a different document other than him and he had essentially been excluded. And at that point, I, I understand he, I understand why he felt like we were just working kind of on our own without telling him about it. And it was kind of just like a, it was a climax to just like a build up of that feeling of being excluded this entire project. And I feel really bad about that. But I hope it's all right. I know he's mad now, but I hope he... Fit. I mean, I hope he... So... It's pretty intense. So... These clips are all raw. And... Yeah. And, um... Basically, we came to an agreement that Alex was going to take care of the next steps, solutions, recommendations, part of the paper. And we were basically gonna like go our separate ways while still working um, on the same project. But I don't know, I, I guess we just had some issues with collaboration. Yeah, there, I thought there was very little resolution. This conflict and there still isn't any resolution. And I think that ultimately work trying to settle differences with someone who doesn't want to is not going to result in a collaborative effort. So I think that we should have honestly just split. Yeah, I I think that we can fix all these problems, but the biggest thing right now would be just I want to emphasize how sorry we are right now bad we feel but forgiveness and and coming together again is necessary for the project i understand like it feels weird now but because i think the because i think the conflict was um largely our fault initially instead of going behind his back and like creating document without telling him for like uh two days we probably should have came and talked to him and said that um what we didn't like about his changes and what he thought he could have been doing better instead of just creating new one without telling him. Yeah, it was a really big mistake to exclude him. Then again, he did change the work three times. That's true. Reflecting on the meeting we had with, with HP about the conflict, I regret not suggesting Alex to leave our group because ultimately when his only reason to stay in our group was because it would be too hard on him to start over no, on a new project that is not collaboration and ultimately it just made it harder on us because one of the reasons we had to do the documentary was because our group was five people and if we don't have a fifth person to even help us work on anything then Ultimately, that is just detriment to the project and the group. And ultimately, collaboration is the part of this project. And if you're not able to collaborate with people and move forward past the conflict, there's it just there's no there's no way to. It just makes the project harder for everybody. So today is like the last last day that we can work on the action research project. It is Sunday. Um, I don't know the date, but yeah, it's the last day that we can work on the project and we're just having our final group meeting. It's just Yanni, Noah, and me. I'm just finalizing everything in reflection. Project 
was really good experience, I guess, because it taught me a lot about collaboration. I'm really upset that that whole thing happened with Alex, and um, I'm just really sad that happened because he was one of my best friends, and hopefully we'll be able to continue our friendship. But overall, aside from that, I'd say I enjoyed the experience of researching education, something I'm very passionate about, and just being able to work with my friends, it was a really fun experience. So yeah, with five people in the group, it was hard, but that's because we didn't really have faith, I believe, in, in each other throughout the entire thing. We didn't really work so well as a team, and even though they were all my close friends, it just came down to kind of a race to finish it, and we didn't actually take into account the feelings of anyone else, really. Well, yeah, I didn't think that that was the case until it all kind of spun out of, out of control, but we did get the work done, and that's because you know, we, th we found out that assigning roles is definitely the best thing to do. Assign a portion of the project, like if the paper itself has to be 15 pages, divide it up, three pages for everyone, if you're in a five person group, something like that. And really just talk about it. Just keep on talking about what you want to say, talk about what you want to figure out and everything like that. And just make sure that everyone's on the same page and it, it should be fine. But for ours, it was definitely difficult to get everyone interested in the same, you know, argument and everything, so, yeah. Uh, also, I'll talk really quick about the main conflict. I'd say never exclude anyone in any of this because it's really important that everyone knows what's being written, what's being done, everything like that, and with our group, our arguments and our conflicts were all about the fact that you know two of us would go off and work on something and not really tell the other ones and that's just not the best way to work so basically this project to me was a really cool project in the sense that we could do something we're passionate about and try and think of ways to make a change in the world i just think it would have been a little more productive for i mean I don't know, just be personally, to not have it at the very end of the year, because I feel like I would have been a little bit more passionate, maybe, towards the beginning of the year, but overall I think the project was cool, and, and the, the action piece was really good development from the research paper we did last year as juniors, and overall I just think it was really cool to be able to talk and connect with people in your like in our in our grade and think about ways we can change like the educational system because I think we all have really good ideas and ways to change it. Overall, I think it was kind of hard, uh, especially with our group because there were some issues um, just during the collaborative process and. Um, I just think that's a, a bit of a shame, but uh, overall I think our group at the end of the day just got it together and was able to come. Okay, so uh, we have talked to HP and um, we talked to Alex and we were still having trouble with communication and him deleting stuff that we worked on or changing stuff that we thought was already finished and so uh, things have gone pretty crazy uh, we created a new Google Doc and we didn't invite everyone right away and so um, some people thought that we were you know excluding them on purpose when, you know, we, that's not really what we were trying to do. And so right now there's just a lot of conflict in the group and feelings hurt and it's become a complete mess. Uh, so we, we did have a meeting with Miss HP and, and the whole group. And so we, we're going to, we're going to be able to get the project done hopefully, but it's, 
is I just wish that you know none of this became personal and gone the way of friendship. So hopefully uh, we'll we'll communicate with the with the members who had their feelings hurt and uh, no uh, you know friendships will be broken from the uh, action research project. So. Yeah. I can honestly say that the uh, experience and process of working on this project has been one of the worst experiences in my entire life.